Hello there. My name is Randy Lewis. I am a former practicing lawyer and a managing director at Major Lindsay and Africa, which is the world's largest and the nation's top ranked attorney recruiting firm. Today, I'm going to talk to you about going in house. Law students, if you're a student now and you are thinking about looking for an in-house job upon graduation, this is my advice to you. First, work with your career services office in your law school to help you with your job search. And you may want to meet with your career service professionals to determine whether they there may be any in-house internships during the summer and then compete for them. But you also should determine if your law school offers course credits for in-house internships. And if so, do your research about the course and then sign up for the in externships. So why do you do that? A four credit externship or a summer associate internship in the law department of a business could be a really great opportunity for you to learn about the roles and responsibilities of an in-house lawyer. You should learn, for example, solid research skills, writing, analysis, problem solving. Um, all those are great skills to learn, but you'll also learn about business ethics and how the legal department serves the company at large. If you go the extra mile and do a great job during the summer or during the externship, the lawyers there are likely to be great references and even some of the business people. That's very important for you. Equally important, you will make connections that may help you land that in-house job. Usually, the company will not make an offer to you to join them after law school because in-house legal departments typically hire lawyers with experience. Once in a while, they may have an entry-level position. So when you're a law student, you might think you want to go in-house one day, but not right after law school. So you might still consider taking course credit for an in-house internship during law school. And then if possible, land a summer associate position in a law firm and work for that or another firm after you graduate from law school to develop your lawyering skills and experience. And um, now remember, I just said that in-house law departments typically hire lawyers with experience. This means that the more you develop experience over the years, the more attractive you may be to a company's in-house group over time. And often, training in a law firm for at least several years is what companies seek for their more junior candidates. I'll give you an example. I'm working now with a company looking for someone with four to seven years of transactional experience with a, a singular focus on drafting complex contracts. They are looking for people trained in law firms um, as, a, a, as the most important thing, but they also are looking for people in-house who have not worked in a law firm, who, but only who have spot on in-house experience in that area. Um, Another company um, with just two lawyers in its legal department is looking for a lawyer, for example, with at least four years of real estate transactional experience, and they only want someone with big law firm experience because they do not have time to train someone junior. Um, so if you're a practicing lawyer, though, um, before I talk with you about how to look for an in-house job, I, I want to discuss going in-house after you have practiced for a while, um, or a short while or a long while. Practicing lawyers in private law firms and in government and elsewhere regularly reach out to my colleagues at Major Lindsay and Africa and me 
to ask for our help to change jobs. Sometimes people think they want to go in-house, but what some lawyers end up doing is moving to a different law firm with different leadership, a different platform, and a different culture. Some lawyers will determine that they just need one more law firm experience before they go in-house. I'll give you one example. A mid-level associate I spoke with months ago wanted to go in-house because he was burnt out, didn't like the billable hours, and he thought he would have more flexibility and a greater work-life balance if he went in-house. Now, the way our model works for in-house, we cannot represent individuals looking for an in-house job because we represent the companies on an exclusive retained basis, and we go out and search. So I gave him all the tools to look on his own, and, and I kept my eye out for the jobs for which we were recruiting to see if he would be compatible with them. Um, this lawyer kept in touch with me regularly during his search, and finally he said he'd learned two things. One, that just about every in-house job uh, was now requiring him to be in the office four to five days per week, and there was little, if any, flexibility for him. But also he was finding he just didn't have enough experience for some of the positions that really interested in him. Long story short, I ended up placing him at a law firm that has a hybrid work environment and in a practice group where he already has um, broader experience and with a boss who was terrific, is a terrific person and a great mentor. This lawyer also found he had, he had actually more flexibility in the firm setting because now he could take his daughter to the doctor if she were sick or he could leave work early um, because now she's starting uh, soccer and he will be watching her in soccer practice. So um, yeah, that was a win-win for him. So now I will tell you, we could give you hundreds if not thousands of examples of lawyers who have successfully made the switch to in-house. Uh, one lawyer I know uh, who practiced for many years had an opportunity to go in-house about two years ago. And I just spoke with her recently. She told me she has been so happy going in-house. She wishes she had moved in-house years ago. She gives it all her you know, her all when she's in the office, she loves the work, it's intellectually challenging and personally rewarding. Um, and she has already been promoted twice. Her boss is a delight to work with and the company is wonderful. And listen to this, she found this job through her network. So that leads me to talking about how to look for an in-house job. As I mentioned earlier, most executive search firms like Major Lindsay and Africa represent the companies on a retained exclusive basis when we recruit for in-house jobs. So we cannot represent an individual in the in-house market like we do when we work with lawyers who want to go into a law firm. You have to conduct your own search, and this is how I suggest you do it. First... Be a student of the market. That's what I tell everyone. Through your research and networking, you will find out what the market wants. And then you should refine your search um, and, your, and refine your resume and your LinkedIn profile to re reflect that you have the qualifications the job seek. Learning about the market is going to first and foremost um, include reaching out to your network in a confidential way. I suggest that you make a spreadsheet of the people you know who might be re good, good referral sources. That could be colleagues you've met, um, clients, and um, relatives, friends. Then keep your notes on your contacts with them. Next, look at the websites of reputable legal recruiters like Major Lindsay and Africa. 
to determine whether there's a position they are sourcing that might interest you. You can also reach out to some recruiters who have posted in-house positions to make a personal connection. Um, working with recruiters, when looking for an in-house job, you should be looking at multiple recruiters' website because each recruiter represents a different company. Conversely, if you are looking for a job in a law firm, I recommend that you only work with one recruiter who knows the market well. Otherwise, you look unprofessional with, if you have two recruiters submitting your credentials to the same law firm. And then also, working with one recruiter will ensure you the best advice about each firm and each offer. Um, a word of caution uh, when you're communicating with recruiters. Anytime you send a resume to a recruiter, I recommend that you state in the email that they may not submit your candidacy or resume or other credentials anywhere without your rec your written uh, express permission to do so. That way you have control, you know you have control over where you are being submitted. Learning about the market again includes searching and setting up alerts on websites. Let's first talk about LinkedIn. You should be on LinkedIn if you're not. Um, and then so get on it and you know you can have a minimalist uh, website profile, but it has to have a professional photo and a headline right under the photo that kind of says who you are. Um, and on LinkedIn, you can also let recruiters know that you're open to work. Um, LinkedIn says it will not alert your company, but I, I think they say they can't guarantee it. So it, it, you have to use your judgment on that. Um, and just so you know, many recruiters, and, and I'm one of them, have access to what's called LinkedIn Recruiter. I call it the back end of LinkedIn that enable us as us to search by various parameters for lawyers. So think about when you're putting words in there, what we might be looking for, and then we can focus just on people, for example, who are in a certain jurisdiction, who do a certain type of work, or people who are open to work. It allows us to do that as well. Um, if a local recruiter or a reputable national one seeks to connect with you on LinkedIn, I say, why not accept the connection, even if you're not looking for a job, because down the road, you'll get their postings, and the connection could be one that alerts you to an interesting in-house position sometime in the future. In addition to LinkedIn, you also want to check these websites and sign up for notifications on these. I'm going to give you three of my favorite um, in-house law jobs websites. The first one is goinhouse.com. It's all lowercase www.goinhouse.com. The next one is the Association of Corporate Counsel, and that website is www.acc.com. And the third one is Minority Corporate Counsel Association, their website. That website is mcc www.mcca.com. Keep your clients in mind too. I mentioned that when I talked to you about um, keeping a spreadsheet, but maybe a client wants an in house lawyer. You never know. Be careful about how you inquire. In most cases, you don't want to alert your firm that you want to go in house. Finally, my name is Randy Lewis. And I would be happy to answer any questions you might have. You can reach me at rlewis at mlaglobal.com. Good luck on your, your in-house job search. Okay.